So my key project uh, is a set of drawings, a set of designs that Wright produced for a golf resort uh, in Nakoma, which is a suburb outside of Madison, Wisconsin. This very small drawing here shows both the resort structure and the, the buildings are meant to resemble American Indian teepees, as well as two sculptures that Wright uh, designed, an American Indian man and an American Indian woman. This is clearly a, a career-long interest of Wright's. He was interested in American Indian culture. And you do see instances of this very early uh, in his Chicago days when he's working at the turn of the century. And then he's using actual art and artifacts produced by American Indians. There was uh, very much a vogue uh, for decorating with the art and artifacts of American Indians and also sort of using imagery of American Indians in, uh, in homes in this period. Uh, some people did this to such a degree that they, ha they had what were called Indian corners in their homes. But then you also have him out at Taliesin West in Arizona, decades later, uh, designing and producing a totem pole for his uh, desert fellowship complex. This concept that non-Native Americans, uh, namely white men, um, can adopt a sense of Americanness, of sort of national identity, separate from the identity of Europe by aligning themselves with American Indian culture. It was one way of displaying Americanness. Wright designed the resort and the accompanying uh, American Indian sculptures in 1923 and 1924. I chose this project um, in part because it is a very surprising project, uh, because the, the reference to American Indians is so literal, it, it is so overt. It's a sort of fantasy of Indianness. It's a fantasy that is not uh, necessarily sensitive to the specificities of various American Indian peoples. He interchangeably uses the terms uh, teepee and wigwam to refer to the resort structure here as a, as a very generalized kind of reference to American Indians. Uh, teepees are, they're sort of tent-like, they're, they're conical, they're usually portable. Wigwams are very different structures that are, that are domed, uh, they are generally more permanent. These are two very different forms. These figures are fascinating because they show uh, a very stereotypical attitude to, to both race and to gender. The attire of the male Nokomis um, appears to be something that a, a Plains Indian would wear. He's wearing a kind of headdress that is typical of Plains cultures. Whereas Nikoma is, is holding an example of pottery, as is the small child beside her. They both appear to be holding these pots. And that would indicate that these figures are more Southwestern. So it's this sort of collapsing of various uh, American Indian peoples into one sort of recognizable visual compendium here. He used references to other cultures, other traditions, other peoples throughout his career, and it's not relegated by any means to American Indian culture. Um, so this is just, just one facet, I would say, of his much broader interest in, in other cultures.